educating investors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. And as we come to you at 2 p.m., what do we have? Well, we're down 2.2% uh, on the S&P cash. NASDAQ's uh, down uh, 2 and a quarter percent. Dow's off 2%. Russell's down 3.2%. Crude's off 5.75%. We'll get to that in a moment. And gold is down 1.7%. Uh, 152.40 uh, on the last tick. And let's see here. Okay. I know I've got it somewhere. There we go. You just occasionally it takes me a while to find it because it's it's uh, not always apparent. But I'm sharing my screen now. Anyway, uh, as we have about a minute left in this update, uh, we'll go to the things that I think tend to matter. So we'll go to that. Uh, crude's down. UK is lifting its fracking ban. Uh, I guess they had a uh, whoa. Go go back to that. Have a uh, big. Uh, date with destiny, and that is reality. Everybody getting ready to uh, start choking uh, the representatives of their government if they didn't start getting some fuel for this winter before they all freeze and starve. Uh, we in the United States uh, have gone through most of the things. Uh, we've got two big uh, events coming this week. One is uh, a possible government shutdown next Friday. That would be a week from today if you live in Lutz. And, of course, a storm in the Gulf. Uh, amazingly enough, uh, before I moved down here, I did a pretty big study to find out uh, where the best place was to avoid a hurricane in Florida, in Tampa. That's it. But uh, I suspect it's actually, like many times, just tracked and said it's going up to probably Texas, Louisiana. Hang on for the show in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky, 